Hello everyone, welcome back to Fry Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Sean O'Malley challenges Tank Davis. That fight is going to happen. Sugar Sean O'Malley destroyed Algerman Sterling with a devastating second round stoppage win Saturday night in Boston to win the UFC Batman Way title while headlining UFC 292. During his post-five press conference, Sean O'Malley called for a crossover clash against one of his boxing best knockout artists. I wouldn't mind knocking out Gervonta Davis, and I know people are going to say, I wanna be like Conor McGregor. I'm telling you that fight is going to happen, said O'Malley. I would love to cross over to boxing. He is fucking this tall dude. I would love to go out there and box him. I've never seen him in person. I feel like it could happen sooner than later, but I also know that UFC is down to get behind stuff like that if it's big enough and with that performance I think we are getting close, but maybe I have to go out there and win a couple more fights, win another belt. I don't even know if he is considered a big enough star for the UFC to let it happen, but it will happen. Although Nomoli is in the prime of his career, the 28-year-old is pulling a page from his MMA peers and looking to land a highly lucrative boxing match. Earlier this month, Nate Diaz challenged Jake Paul to a boxing match. The MMA legend lost a unanimous decision to the YouTuber turned boxer. In October, former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Nagano will make his boxing debut against WBC heavyweight titleist Tyson Fury after catching wind of O'Malley's overture. Ryan Garcia chimed in and wrote on social media, Sugar Shane, you are good and all, but stop talking about this, I'm going to box stuff, you'll just get knocked out. O'Malley quipped back, like you did or different? Garcia, who got knocked out by Davis in April, said, Boxing and MMA are two different sports, and if you need a reminder, let me know. I'll gladly do a tune-up for my return fight, Garcia said. Mikey Garcia predicts Gervonta Davis Shakur Stevenson fight. Former 4 Division World Champion Mikey Garcia has waited in with his prediction for a fight between Shakur Stevenson and Gervonta Davis if it ever materializes. The pair are regarded as two of the most talented fighters in the sport, and the fight between them is one of the best matchups to be made. And Garcia explained to EEZ News that he feels Davis much her that power would prove to be the deciding factor. Oh shit, at 135? I would probably still pick Tank just because of that power. Shakur can box and be very elusive and tricky, but so can Tank. Plus he is got that power where one punch is all it takes, so I would probably still pick Tank. Coupled with their ability in the ring, both Davis and Stevenson are not afraid of some trash talk, which would make an all-American clash between them ever spicier, should it ever happen. It doesn't appear to be on the horizon anytime soon. However, with both men signing to different promotional companies, who do not seem interested in making the fight at this moment in time? Stevenson looks set to fight for the WBC lightweight world title, which will become vacant when David Haney moves up in way to take on Righteous Progress in October. As for Davis, the Baltimore Puncher has recently been released from jail and is expected to be back in the ring either late this year or in early 2024. Steven Espinoza, the president of Showtime Sports, told when the winner of the WBA regular lightweight title, Gervonta Davis, can return to the ring. It all depends on what physical condition he is in. Davis has not been to the gym in a month. This requires some adjustments. Besides, he has things to do outside the ring. His goal is to return as soon as possible. If there is an opportunity to hold a duel before the end of the year, then we will certainly do it. If not, he will fight at the beginning of the next one. As for the opponent, we have not really discussed this topic. It's hard to talk about opponents when you don't even have an estimated time to return yet. I've heard people talk about Chris Colbert and Isaac Cruz. This is all speculation because nothing has been done yet and nothing is ready. 
Espinosa said. Absolute world champion in the second middleweight, Saul Alvarez said that he sees the point in the fight of Terence Crawford against Gervonta Davis. At the same time, Canelo is convinced that, that Crawford will be a clear favorite if this fight takes place. I don't think anyone in the welterweight or first middleweight division will beat Crawford. We don't know if he will beat everyone in the middle division, but no one will beat him below. He is a great fighter. I can't go down any lower to fight him. I saw an interview where Crawford stated, if I fight with Gervonta Davis, everyone will say that he is too small. This victory won't give me anything. We don't know if Davis would have been able to compete with Crawford. He is also a great talent, a wonderful fighter. They can fight. Will Davis beat Crawford? We don't know. Why don't they have a fight? But Crawford will be a big favorite. Alvarez said. Gervonta Davies hasn't thought three times in a calendar year since 2019, but while his schedule often restricts him to just one or two appearances, 2023 could be a different story. Everything has gone smoothly for the 28 year old. Get to Luis Garcia found out that the power everyone talks about is as real as it gets, losing to the Baltimore native via 9th round stoppage. Ryan Garcia stepped up to the plate soon after. He huffed, poofed, and constantly called Davis out. Annoyed with his non stop trash talk, Davis asked Ryan to put his money where his mouth is. With the two officially going at it on April 22nd, Davis punished his men, scoring two knockdowns before closing the show in the seventh round. With a few months remaining in the year, Davis has an opportunity to squeeze one more fight in. There are a ton of lightweight contenders that would love to line up against the hard-hitting star. But according to the Kelvin Ford, Davis trainer, one familiar name has flowed to the top of the list. Nothing is at speed will. Ford said during this interview, when asked who is the frontrunner. Isaac Cruz, otherwise known as Pitbull, gave it everything he had against Davis almost two years ago. On relatively short notice on December of 2021, Cruz was given the chance to hand the pound for pound liminary his first defeat. Those who were watching expected Davis to eventually find the fight ending low. That thought never happened as he was forced to settle for a point win. Facing Cruz could be big business for Team Davis, but that does not mean he is for its preference. The likes of Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson were more desirable options. Neither man, however, is likely to get the call. It is not because the interest is not there, but mostly because both Stevenson and Haney appear to have their plates full. Right now Davin is going up, Shakur and uh, his opponent probably do it next, Calvin Forsyth. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.